Hello everyone. I am Dr. Pani Madhuri, Consultant Fertility Specialist, Obstetrician and Gynecologist working at Kiran Fertility Center, Bangalore. What is high AMH? Any value normally more than 3.5 nanograms per ml is considered to be high AMH and is generally associated in patients with polycystic ovarian syndrome or disease. Now why AMH is high in PCOS is very simple because these people have lots of small follicles in their body, ovarian follicles, which starts producing AMH and that's why the overall AMH value in their blood is higher. What does this indicate us? So once the AMH level is higher, they tend to have a hyper response in whenever, whichever treatment of ovulation induction that we plan to give them and that's one thing that we need to be taking care of in their treatment protocols and guide them accordingly so that they land up in an optimum response and a good outcome based on the IVF stimulation protocols that we give them. Is there a cure for high AMH? Well, I say, uh, I wouldn't say there's a cure, but definitely it can be modulated. Now, when I say there's no cure, I wouldn't say that, you know, there's a treatment per se wherein definitely the AMH can come back to normal, but there are various options for which help aid in the AMH levels decreasing or help the overall outcome in these patients with uh, polycystic ovarian disease. The most important treatment for these patients is lifestyle modification wherein they have to regularly exercise, do any form of aerobic exercises which burns calories and also intake of healthy diet which avoids a lot of junk food and processed and high calorie foods. Eat good amount of normal diet like you know fruits and vegetables at regular intervals with a good form of aerobic exercises will help in the AMH levels not not reducing but overall improvement in the condition of polycystic ovarian disease. There is another treatment modality called laparoscopic ovarian drilling. Patients who have undergone laparoscopic ovarian drilling may also see a slight variation in AMH levels after the procedure based on the condition what was there earlier. I wouldn't say to an extent of it coming down very low but definitely there can be a slight decrease in AMH levels after the procedure based on what is the pre-existing condition. 